Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. Jason Jones back with another episode of Health Made Easy. And man, we are talking about one of my favorite topics today. And I have a question for you before we get started. And that is, do you ever feel fatigued or less than energetic? If you do, I'm going to show you how and talk about how exercise can actually increase your energy. And you may be saying, well, I don't want to exercise or I don't feel like exercising because I don't have any energy. But it's actually counterintuitive because you can increase your energy level and fight off feelings of tiredness and fatigue with a simple measure like exercising. Recent studies have shown that a scheduled Physical activity regimen is far more effective to boost energy levels than sleep is. And you may be asking yourself, well, why scheduled? Well, it's simple. When you include an exercise program in your daily regimen, you are more likely to follow through and do it. And consistency beats intensity every single time. Now, if you have um, you know, chronic health problems, uh, you are likely to enjoy huge benefits and a boost in your energy levels from physical activities. Research findings on um, how exercise actually increases energy is what I'm going to talk about in this next little section here. And that is many studies reveal that when you utilize stored up energy, you are, you are indirectly making more of it. A study conducted at the University of Georgia showed that adults with a sedentary lifestyle who spent 20 minutes on low to moderate aerobic exercise three times a week for six consecutive weeks experienced a boost in energy levels and reduced fatigue. One leading researcher states that a lot of people are always looking for other forms of energy like energy bars, coffee, sports drinks, um, energy drinks, you know, all those kinds of things. But he says the best way to increase energy is to lace up your shoes and just get moving. So if a sedentary individual begins following an exercise program, it will help increase the flow of blood carrying nutrients and oxygen to the muscle tissue, thereby improving the ability to produce energy in the form of ATP. And if you're not sure what ATP is, go back and listen to our previous podcast. But this is straight from Peter McCall, exercise physiotherapist um, at the American Council on Exercise. Now, So what types of exercise increase energy? Well, the reality is they all do, but um, it doesn't so much matter the type of exercise that you follow. What matters is that you you do it, you do it long enough, um, and the frequency in which you do it. So again, any of them can help you ward off fatigue and boost energy. So let's give you an example. So you can start with 10 minutes. You could start with five minutes if you want to, um, three times a week, and then you could move it on up to maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. You got to fit it around your schedule, but you got to do something. And this is a good way to get started if you're in a sedentary lifestyle. And here's the other thing. You can watch YouTube videos and do it and never even leave your house. Um, So why do you need to follow a proper schedule when exercising to increase energy? Well, like we said earlier, scheduling helps you stay focused on the plan. It motivates you to try to do more exercise to gain more energy. However, this can be difficult if you don't know how to go about it. So the best course of action is to choose the best time that is convenient for you to do your daily exercise. For me, it's in the morning. If I don't do it in the morning, it's probably not going to happen any other time during the day. Look into your routine and check how much free time you have, okay, and then consider your physical ability also, and then exercises that you would find enjoyable. Now, with that being said, um, always ensure that you don't go more than a couple of days or no more than three days without doing some sort of exercise. When you exercise regularly, you will gain energy, keep your muscles well toned, stay in the habit of exercising as part of your routine, it actually can help improve your mood as well. So we've been teaching this for a long time, but no matter what your current fitness levels are, studies have shown that there is a direct correlation between regular physical exercise and increased levels of energy. So uh, it is good to get yourself prepared for the routine. Now, some of you may be suffering with some sort of painful condition. Maybe you've got headaches, maybe you've got back pain, maybe you've got problems with your knees, you know, it doesn't really make any difference what it is, and you need to handle that first 
uh, before actually beginning the, or maybe during the exercise process. So I hope this helped you out. Stay tuned for the next um, podcast that we have. Two more coming on energy. Um, And these are going to be definitely going to be the ones that you're going to want to check out. This is Dr. Jason Jones signing out. We'll see you guys on the next podcast. See you later. Bye-bye.